Hello, my name's Jane. Today I'm going to show you a recipe from my new book called What to Cook and How to Cook It. And it's lamb chops with a tomato and mint salad. I've got four lamb chops here. And I've also got the zest of a lemon that I finely grated and a little bit of vegetable oil. And into that I'm going to add some garlic. So I've got a clove of garlic. I'm going to crush that with my knife. So first of all, so we're going to chop it finely first. And then to crush it, we're going to use some coarse sea salt. So let's just add a pinch of sea salt now. And we're going to use the blade of the knife to crush the garlic against the board. And you use the salt as a kind of abrasive. So we'll mix that with the lemon zest and the oil. And then we're going to rub it into the lamb. So once the marinade is on the lamb, you can leave it for five minutes or half an hour or a whole day if you like. Um, the important thing is getting that flavour into the meat. So I'm going to carry straight on and cook it straight away. So now I'm going to add a bit more pepper as some seasoning. The salt's already in the garlic, remember? Okay. So I've got my large non-stick pan over a medium heat. It's been warming up for a couple of minutes. And to that I'm going to add some sunflower oil now. It's just about half a teaspoon, not too much. In that goes. Let that heat up for a couple of seconds and we're going to put the lamb into the pan and hopefully I'm going to hear a nice sizzle as it goes in. Now you want to fry the lamb chops for about six minutes depending on how you like your meat cooked. So for the time being I'm going to come back and start the salad. First of all there is a can of butter beans and if you've got cannellini beans in your cupboard you could use those instead. And they've been rinsed and drained first. And then I've just got a handful of cherry tomatoes cut in half. I'm going to add some mint leaves. I'm just going to roughly tear these in. There's no need to chop them. So just a handful. And if you wanted to add fresh parsley, any other herbs that are growing in your garden, you could add these. Now the final main ingredient to the salad is some red onion. So I've peeled and I've got half a red onion here. And we're going to finally slice this into half moons. You haven't got to be too fancy about it. So now we've made the body of the salad, we're going to make the dressing for later on. So let me just move it to the side. And here I've got a couple of tablespoons of capers. They're little sort of piquant berries. They go really fantastically with lamb. And then to that, a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of sugar as a seasoning. Some salt and pepper. Then I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon. And I haven't got a lemon squeezer today, so I'm just going to use a fork to squeeze the juice out. So my lamb's been cooking for about three minutes now on the first side, so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use some tongs because I find that is easiest, but you can use two forks or a fish slice. There we go, we've got some great colour on that side of the meat. Now, that's going to take about another three minutes to finish off, but I'm going to show you a little trick. If you want to get the fatty edge of your lamb chops nice and crisp, then just hold them like that against the pan for a few moments. That really gets them nicely coloured. Now earlier on I mentioned I wanted to cook my lamb for about six minutes so it was still nice and pink and juicy in the middle. But if you'd rather have your lamb well done, you can add two minutes to the cooking time. So that's about four minutes per side. Now I think that my lamb is more or less there now. So I'm going to take it out of the pan and onto a plate and leave it to rest for a moment. So now the lamb's resting, we're going to make the pan sauce. Let's add this mixture to the pan now. I'm going to use a wooden spoon and I'm going to just scrape up all those tasty bits. There you go, you can hear them sizzling away and that's called deglazing, getting all the juicy tasty bits out of the pan. So now we're ready to plate up our meal. So let's get a serving plate and I'm going to put some salad onto the plate first. I'm just going to mix it through with my hands and perhaps add some salt and pepper, I think. Just a little bit for seasoning. I always think the best job for mixing salad is your hands. So get right in there, make sure those bits of onion are separated. A couple of our lamb chops. One. But now we're going to dress the lamb in the salad with these beautiful pan juices and dressing. And over they go. So there we have a really simple way with lamb that anyone can make. 